So what we're doing is we're taking this old 2003 Heritage and we're going to put a set of screaming needle heads on it. About two years ago we bumped it up to a 95 cubic inch with some flat top pistons and then we put some Andrews TW21 cams in it. And then I rode that for two years and I decided, well, I think it's time for some screaming eagle heads. So we're going to go ahead and do that. When you chrome bolts, you get some extra chrome in there that you don't want. So it just kind of just kind of helps it clean it up a little bit, get a better uh, get a better uh, thread. See that stuff coming up? But it's good too, you know, you get all the excess uh, Loctite you had up in there from before out. And then when you go to spin it on, it actually spins on real nice, you know, a nice seal, good torque on there, you clean it out real nice, get all the crap out. And with these studs, you're supposed to use motor oil or some kind of lubricant to uh, lube them. You never know how that stuff heated up and just sitting there gunked up in there, so. Screaming Eagle gaskets, which are for high performance big bore kits. Nice thing about these gaskets is they get a good squish, but they're multi layered metal gaskets and they have. Uh, they're really, uh, really nicely fit. Harley's come a long way in their gaskets, and these are actually, I think, made by Cosmetic. Very similar to Cosmetic, but they're easier to get. You just go down to your local Harley store. And the other nice thing about Harley is Harley parts is their instructions are much, much better than they used to be. You know, 20 years ago. So I already blew off most of the excess carbon that was on top of these and uh, since we used the same type of gaskets before there's no actual gasket material stuck to it like there was in the old days so I'm just gonna kind of wipe down the cylinder head here or the, the top of the cylinder not the head but the top of the cylinder and you don't need to reuse on these big bore cylinders you don't reuse that o-ring the o-rings that go around these dowels with these new gaskets so you can get rid of those if you have those. What you want to do is install these in the position marked up. <laughs> Make it real nice and easy for you. And it really can only go one way as long as this says up can really only go one way. These are the new screaming eagle heads that I bought. I actually got these on eBay. Brand new in the box for about 60% of the price that you would get it for otherwise. Um, so what I like to do is just kind of blow them out and then shoot them with a little bit of air or shoot them with a little bit of brake cleaner kind of get any dust or any packing material that might have been in there out. I'm going to re need to reinstall my plug because I don't have a, I have a carbureted bike and the temperature uh, plug that goes in there, I don't, I don't use that. So I'm going to have to take that one off my other head.
one thing that everybody should have is their year of service manual because it uh, really does tell you in a good way how to install everything. This is the actual instructions that came with the heads and this is good because it tells you the proper torque sequence. So what you want to do is lightly coat these with uh, a little bit of motor oil. And the reason you do that is to prevent any kind of binding or galling when you're torquing it. And you just lightly snug them. And what you can do is just kind of wipe off the tops of them if there's any excess oil. So first you start by torquing them in sequence to 10 foot-pounds and then you torque them to about 16 foot-pounds and then you mark each one of the, the bolts and then you turn them 90 degrees. So that's what we're going to do and I'm going to get my torque right here. Something that everybody should have, a quality torque wrench. Not all torque wrenches are created equal. I uh, personally like Snap-on. They are quite expensive, but if you want your bike to run well. And the sequence goes one, two, three, four for the front head. Try to get it as much at a 90 degree angle as you can. It's not much torque, so it'll come fast. And when you're torquing stuff, you don't want the actual wrench to be rubbing up against anything, so you try to get it as clear and free of obstruction as you can. Ideally, you'd like to take the motor out. Um, but you can do this job without having to do it. You'd like to do it in all one fail swoop, but sometimes you gotta choke up on it a little bit. And that's it. That's a properly torqued head right there.